topics um, in reference to the supernatural for the show, um, things that um, I can share with the public and the public can call in or, you know, chat online, you know, and share some of their stories on the topics. Each week it'll be a different topic. And if the topic is, is um, fantastic and outstanding, it will extend to the next week. Cool. But there's always going to be something different, something to catch people's attention and get them talking. Cool. You can't hear her? I can hear her. I can hear her. Hello? Yep, we're still here, honey. Uh, I'm really excited to hear about it. I've been looking uh, at your stuff on Facebook, and you've been really proactive about putting your things out there, so de- getting your message across and your points of view. And, um, I, you know, I can't speak for everyone else. Well, I bet I can, actually. Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that uh, we at Sir Broadcast, all of us are very excited about uh, you uh, climbing aboard with us and sharing your experiences and uh we're sorry that you couldn't make it in the studio this week, but looking forward and hoping that you can join us next week. Oh, yes. Hopefully I'll be there next week to uh, share something. Right now, um, not at this moment, but later on, I'm going to uh, set up my webcam. I've been trying to see if I can catch any type of activity in my house because I know there is some. It just Sweet. happens when it wants to happen. Sometimes there's some, sometimes there's not. And something... Um, interesting happened earlier while I was at work. My sister texted me and she uh, informed me, well, she asked me why did I leave my George Foreman grill on the uh, floor by the garage door, and I didn't. (laughs) You know, she was asleep when I left the house, and I left out through the garage door, and when she got up to uh, let my dog out, because he was downstairs barking, so she assumed he wanted, to, you know, to leave to go out, and she saw the grill on the floor. But she didn't notice. But I noticed when I came back, the grill was cracked. Mm. Uh, when I talked with her after she had texted me, I called her up right quick and I asked her what happened, and she described the situation. And I told her I did not uh, leave my grill on the floor because, you know, I'm stupid. <laughs> and it was. Um, she said it was positioned with the back toward the closet and front facing the cabinet that it fell off. It was just sitting on the floor. The lid wasn't open or anything. But um, I can clearly see that it you know, has been cracked or whatever. Hey, I was, and I don't know why it would have gotten down, how it would have gotten down on the floor like that. Well, does it mean anything to you? Does it mean anything to me? Yeah, does it, does it, does it cause you to feel anything that... Um, does it, I mean, does it make well, you feel like I anything? Mean, I mean, it, it's just odd. It's just odd because she said she did not hear anything. Any that that uh, George Foreman grill, I think the top of it is like plastic, porcelain, or whatever. But the floor is uh, linoleum, and something um, that heavy with weight, you would hear right. if it hits the floor. And she said there was never a sound. Interesting. And it's just, it's just mind blowing to me. And you need, to her too. Monique? You know, was, she just, you know, if I felt I did not do it, then that was the end of that conversation quick. <laughs> Monique? Hmm? It, this is Chuck. I'm not coming to your house. <laughs> he says it's personal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not coming to your house. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> you oh, go, <good> no. girl. <laughs> We're with you. We're going to work them, too. <laughs> and, and another thing is I have um, one of the, um, I guess what you call webcam videos. I think it's, I still have it because I got rid of a couple of them. Cause it was my first time using it, and some of them just didn't mean anything to me. But I think I distinctly remember it just really didn't faze me. Um, I was videotaping the living room, dining room area, and I was looking at looking back at the footage, and there was a section where my dog was lying on the mat, and he gets up. I had both the lights on, one in the dining room, one in the living room. He gets up, 
he's lying in the living room and he stands underneath the um, ceiling lamp in the living room and he's looking toward the kitchen and he sort of tilts his head. He doesn't go all the way, but it's as if he heard something and he started proceeding. Then he backs up and he comes back into the living room. And I think if I remember, he sort of went back to look again and then he went back to where his bedding was and he went toward the door, the living room door <laughs> to look out. And I'm like, I don't know what that was about. But I thought maybe he might have had a dream or whatever. But he didn't go in the kitchen during that time. How is he doing, by the way? In the video that he did go in the kitchen to get water or whatever. Hey, um, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I was wondering, how is your dog? How's your dog doing? Oh, he's doing uh, better. Better. He's still, you know, it's wearing off of him, and he's not dropping down to the floor Good. like he was yesterday. His hips isn't. But if he stands a little bit too long, he does lower his hips. Maybe he doesn't need his teeth cleaned anymore. <laughs> say what? I say maybe he doesn't need his teeth cleaned anymore. <laughs> but um, hopefully he's, you know, able to stand on all fours without doing that in the morning. Therefore, I won't have to worry about taking him to the doctor. They told me to hold off this evening. If once I got home today, that he wasn't dropping as fast and as heavy as he was yesterday, which he isn't. Good. So he could be wearing off. Good, Tomorrow good. Morning, he's okay. I don't have to worry about him. Good. Well, Monique, we're so glad that you can join us and um, share a little bit about what you, uh, what's going on. And please, please keep up the good work. I know I can speak for everyone, I think, except for Chuck, that we're all excited about going <laughs> on location with you on various different areas and experiencing <laughs> outside of the studio. But we'll, you know, it's... You know, you got to knock your dog out to take to the dentist. If that's what we got to do, then that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to treat him like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I've been called a dog before. <laughs> but uh, thank you again for joining us and, uh, you know, trying out this exper uh, experiment here with uh, on the phone. So, you know, this is. I think Sounds like we have some work to do. but Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, no problem. And hopefully. Um, by, uh, by this time next week, I would have a story, you know, the first story that I told you in reference to my sister. That cool. sounds good. Looking forward stop. to seeing you next week. Yeah, I, I'll be able to post that online. Okay. All right. Well, like I says, I hope uh, the best of luck to you and, and definitely to your doggy. And uh, hope everything works out and look forward to seeing you next week. Okay. All right, All right. darling. Bye-bye. Have a good night, Monique. All right. Yeah, take care. Bye. Bye-bye.